Internet Day is uh, celebrating uh, the day where two computers were connected together for the first time. And that might not seem significant today because nowadays everyone connects to computers computer all the time. But that was the first time it was actually successfully done. Oh, well, the internet, uh, the way I see it, is a collection of computers and they're communicating and sharing data between one another. You can simplify the idea by saying it's a bit like a postal service. That happens a bit like when you send a letter. So you are first sending it to uh, your local post office, which will send it over to a bigger distribution uh, central, which will then figure out where in the world it needs to go. The, the main difference, of course, is that the internet uh, is designed to send relatively small packets, but very, very fast. The, the, the internet is like, uh, as I said, is all the computers. The web is basically an application of the internet. If we imagine the internet uh, like uh, the universe, then the browser would be our spaceship. And if we want to visit different planets and the galaxies, we need to use a tool that uh, can help us uh, visit all the places around. Uh, this uh, spaceship uh, needs to be fast, needs to be safe, and feel very comfortable inside so you can enjoy your journey. So the browser is responsible for, for collecting the information from, from the web servers, the machines that serve these websites, and uh, displaying it in a way that, that you can visualize it, that you can interact with it. And the browser is the most important program in the computer. And because of that, it needs to be more and more customizable, people need to be able to make it a place where they like to be because they are there all the time. If we had a closed internet, then, then you go to the postal office and say, hey, I'd like to send this package to the, this friend of mine, then the postal clerk will be like, Oh, sorry, sorry, he's a, he's a democracy activist. Okay, sorry, that person doesn't exist, or it's at least not allowed that you reach the person. It's like, it's, it's really scary, right? That's, that's, that's why um, the closed internet is, is wrong to me. In the closed internet, you can only make either misinformed or uninformed decision making. And I think that's really bad. That's, that's basically a principle of open standards, and you want uh, this to remain open so that Everyone can keep talking to everyone without a barrier uh, that are brought by people who just want to basically raise profit that they don't especially deserve.